Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to another edition of Trad Cat Night Breaking News right here on the Trad Cat Night YouTube channel. Folks, got to get you all caught up as to the latest happenings here with Trad Cat Night for this July the 11th, 2019. Tomorrow, got Mike Church on the program. First time, Adam Green from No More News. How about anti vaccine expert Dr. Sherry Tenpenny? Going to be a blockbuster day tomorrow. The 13th, first time guest Leo Homan will join the podcast coming down the road on July 15th. Robert Sungenis joins the program and a first time unnamed guest, very prolific writer in the Catholic world will join me on the podcast. Special guest, you're going to want to sign up today and join, join us today for this very special podcast that will happen on July the 15th. Very excited to get uh, this particular guest on the podcast to talk all the latest corruption, uh, church in the news, probably some latest tidbits. Uh, in any case, I don't want to give too much away here, but it's a special guest on the 15th, folks. Um, let's get to some of the latest here, uh, if I could. Uh, awful lot happening here at Trad Cat Night. As always, I put up a premium podcast yesterday discussing how a Catholic slides into liberalism using as a backdrop Father Felix Silvani's work. Uh, you're going to want to uh, tune in for this one. Uh, there are three main ways, according to this prolific writer, that a Catholic can slide into liberalism, perhaps without even knowing it. And uh, so that podcast went up yesterday. I also wrote an article yesterday. Vatican II, the ultimate false flag and false flag excuse me and we all should be seeing how the new world order is pressing hard the last few years both to implode uh, the catholic church but in general to implode things on the secular side of things in order to fully prepare humanity for the new false savior to come with its socialist slash communist system now we have the advantage folks of taking a look back in recent history to see how all these various areas uh, ultimately in all these various areas how we're being deceived now as the enemy has indicated in certain writings uh, he who controls the media will control the people but in order for that to happen first they needed to control the actual world leaders they needed to control the Vatican first which they have done so I break this down very specifically uh, in an article video included just yesterday I also had on Monsignor Perez who's out there in earthquake uh, country on the west coast the left coast the SoCal area we discussed how to make a good confession we discussed indulgences so he gives us an update as to what's going on in the Southern California area he has some very uh, interesting stories to tell us about uh, those earthquakes uh, quite scary we talked the latest Francis heresies, ecumenism, the Amazonian agendas, uh, furthermore discussing how a Catholic uh, slips into liberalism from uh, Monsignor's point of view. How do we obtain true happiness in this modern world gone mad? We discussed that as a philosophical question. Uh, again, discussing how to make a good confession, indulgences, sin in general, and approaching uh, the sacrament of matrimony in this disease in this society which is so diseased by me if you will but to highlight this particular um, breaking news edition here a little promo we have the end days remedies revealed by Marie Julie Jehenny 
for the three days of darkness and other calamities. Now, in times past, uh, I've talked about it a little bit more briefly, and then I have an ongoing podcast series. For those who have not yet signed up to tradcatnight.org, um, listen, I, we've done three podcasts in times past with Xavier A. Rao, notable Catholic author, who's working on a new Marie Julie Jehenny book. Uh, but then in addition to this, uh, Isabel Chisabura, who's the granddaughter of the original Grand de la Marquis, the original biographer of uh, Marie Julie Jehenny. She has all of the original French texts in her hands, and we've been ripping through all of these prophecies over the past uh, three or four months. Uh, we have another upcoming talk uh, scheduled. You're not going to want to miss that. And those podcasts are in the neighborhood of about two to three hours. Uh, they're not of the 30-minute variety. They're very long. And uh, I have many Trad Cat Night followers who come to me saying they've listened to them repeatedly. They go back and will listen to them repeatedly to jot down all the notes. But here specifically in this podcast that I did today, uh, I ripped through not only uh, discussing further the, the, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, which is synonymous with the Eucharistic reign of our Lord or social reign of our Lord uh, coming, meaning the period is right around the corner. It's not 50 years away as some traditionalists think. Uh, and how it's synonymous with the death of the Antichrist. Uh, I also discuss uh, specifically uh, God revealing and his thoughts to St. Catherine on uh, temptation, the devil, and hell. I also discuss the early church fathers on celibacy, what they said. And again, yes, lastly, the specific remedies for each calamity. And off the top of my head, I think there was 12 or 13 different situations or different type of epidemics or calamities. Uh, and the remedies proposed uh, by our Lord and Lady to Marie Julie Jehenny. So get to this podcast. And by the way, I have someone right here in Ohio who helps me distribute uh, these sacramentals, uh, purple scapular included, uh, which is of the utmost uh, importance uh, for the days ahead, for the chastisements which are coming, for the tribulation coming. In any case, uh, you can get to the website right there. Uh, once you sign up, tradcatnight.org, there's that Three Days of Darkness page that goes into further detail, specifically of that. Uh, particular chastisement, which in my humble opinion will be the apex of the Great Tribulation, the climactic event, but then also ha we'll have Kathleen Loney's details as to how you can uh, get these different sacramentals. I know her phone number's there, I know her email uh, address is there, and she helps distribute them from France. She gets them from Isabel and she distributes them uh, here in the United States. So we're trying to keep uh, the message of Marie Julie Jehenny alive and I'm working on a video, a new movie, uh, which I'm hoping to have up on Vimeo over the next two to three months talking about Marie Julie Jehenny. And as far as I'm aware, there is no kind of formal movie out there and I'll do the best that I can with the software that I do have. Uh, in any case, you can look forward to that. So just want to thank all those uh, who continue to pray for this apostolate again all those who recently have signed up to tradcatnight.org and as each month passed by it's like climbing a mountain we continue to increase uh in members so it's good to see all those uh, new members and 25 to 50 posts on a regular basis folks i truly cover it all i leave no stone left unturned i'm not afraid to discuss any topic like some of these vanilla quote-unquote traditionalist sites uh, do my website's highly interactive you can write your own articles your own analysis your commentaries there's a chat room there's a message board there's numerous resource pages i already mentioned one of them the three days of darkness but i've got quite a few unmasking you know the new world order socialism the ufo agenda vatican II itself uh folks you can cancel at any time it's a month-to-month -month basis uh, you'll have access to the podcast archive which dates back to 2015 and with the church going underground it's, it's a great way to network with other catholics but to stay truly in tune with what's happening uh, in the world, so to speak. And I'll relay all the latest uh, top headlines, if you will, and keep you ahead of the game. Uh, things that I've been saying now, years ago, the, you know, the false traditionalist world is now only catching up to now. Uh, one of which uh, is Francis being a true anti-pope. I was the first person to come out and say this. Now it's, and just like I said, it would be a trend. More and more people would jump onto this, and it has. Uh, in any case, uh, the Eagles are gathering here at Trad Cat Night. Check the description box right now of this YouTube video and click those two little words, show more. It'll open up the promotional piece to Trad Cat Night. That first link there that says become a member, that's the link you're going to want to click. Stripe is the payment processor. It's faster, safer, and easier uh, than even PayPal. Again, it's $10 a month. It works out to be like a little over two, bu uh, two bucks a week. Uh, so for less than, uh, you know, a half a cup of coffee daily, 
Uh, you'll be getting all my podcasts. I'm typically podcasting Monday through Saturday, two or three special guest shows. I have my own podcast that I do a uh, daily basis. I have my own articles. And again, with all this information, uh, I mean, there's just an awful lot, folks. Uh, in any case, 99% renewal rate. The people who show up at Tradcat Night, 99% of them stay the next month. So uh, please do join us. Uh, you won't regret it. In any case, folks, until next time, stay safe. God bless. Ave Maria.